What's going on, YouTube? So as you can tell, this year is going to be a very, very big year for EVs. And what I'm sitting next to right now is the 2023 Nissan Aria. And this is promising to be one of the coolest EVs hitting the market at the end of this year. So we're here at the Chicago Auto Show. And what we're going to do today is take a quick first look at it, tell you some of the information that you're going to need to know. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. So as always, we'll start out with the exterior design. That's gonna be, of course, something you're gonna notice living with the vehicle every single day. And the Aria definitely has a very unique look. I, I, I would have to say it doesn't really look like any other Nissan product that's currently being offered. That's not a bad thing though, because it has a lot of really cool design elements. Now, as with any EV, of course, your front end is gonna be pretty much sealed off. You don't need any air intake. However, they still have done this whole black area to kind of simulate what a grill is gonna look like. One thing I am noticing though, is that we do have a lighted Nissan badge up here in the center, which is a really, really neat touch. And then coming off to the side, let's talk about the headlights. As you can see, the daytime running light is what you're looking at right now. This goes all the way down almost to the bottom of the grill. And then the lighting itself is going to be above that. And it's going to be the projector style. And I'm actually noticing four different individual projectors in there. So that's a, a really neat touch. Now dropping below that, you will notice that we have this air intake. You can actually stick your hand through it. Um, it helps the airflow make this in a very aerodynamic vehicle. And then coming down, you will notice this lower area. This is also gonna be finished in a black piano plastic. All right, guys, so this is an electric vehicle, so I'm not going to keep you waiting for all that long to talk about the range as well as some of the different battery components going on with the Aria. Of course, that's a very important part. So as you can see right here, we have our charge port here on the right side of the vehicle. And as far as the batteries themselves, you have a 63 kilowatt hour battery or 87 kilowatt hour battery which does mean that you can have up to 300 miles of range if you go for the rear drive model with the 87 kilowatt hour battery. Now, as far as horsepower figures for that dual motor all wheel drive, there is an optional all wheel drive system, standard front wheel drive. Um, that's gonna have a little less than 400 horsepower at 389 horsepower. So it's also gonna be a pretty quick vehicle in addition to that. Now, Let's talk about the wheels. As you can see, we do have some more piano black plastic around the wheel arches. And then the wheels themselves are going to be 20 inches on this particular tester. These are hubcaps, so these are not like alloy rims, but I do like the design. They have thrown in like some contrast elements here in between the hubcaps, so I think that's pretty neat. And then coming up, we do have a blacked out mirror on this model. Now coming around to the side, you will notice that this is a pretty decently large vehicle. This is a mid-size crossover, so I guess you could think of this as kind of like an electric Murano. Another thing I do want to point out is that this is going to be the first Nissan that allows uh, for hands-free highway driving. So it's going to have a lot of really cool semi-autonomous driving features, and this is going to be the first Nissan to have that. So that's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out, and hopefully later this year we will have the opportunity to test it out. Now, let's check out the rear design of the Aria. As you can see, this is gonna be a very interesting design element as well. I really like the way it looks. You have kind of a, a narrow window here, which kind of gives you a very sporty vibe. We also have you know, this element. I've actually seen this on a few different vehicles. It adds aerodynamic uh, components to it, and it also gives you the spoiler. We have our wiper right here, and then let's look at the taillights themselves. These are gonna be full-length LED taillights, and I love the design of them. If you'll notice, Nissan is actually like inside the taillight component here, so like the branding is integrated within. I've really never seen that before in a car, and it looks great. Now then dropping down, you will notice that we have this whole area. Once again, it's gonna be finished in that piano black plastic, which I do like more so than the matte black plastic that might fade with time. Now, opening up the cargo department. As you can tell, we do have a hands-free power lift gate. I would also assume um, it does have the hands-free component on the higher end models. And then as far as the space itself is concerned, of course, I don't have a full measurement. Um, this vehicle is not you know, fully ready for all the measurements and stuff. It will be coming out later this year. Uh, but as far as the space itself, just by the seat of my pants, I would assume this is similar to something that you would find in a Nissan Murano or a Rogue. It does look like less space because it does have that more coupe-like design, so it's a little bit uh, less tall. However, it does look like plenty of space for the vast majority of people. We also have LED lighting on the side, and then we do have underfloor storage right here. And then you can also lift this part up. That gives you additional underfloor storage.
Now this is, of course, an electric crossover, so you might be curious and saying, Mason, is there a frunk in the Aria? Unfortunately, there is not. Uh, so all the cargo space is gonna be back there in the area I showed you earlier. But let's go ahead and check out the inside. All right, you guys. So sitting in here, I have to admit, I feel very futuristic. This is an absolutely awesome cabin experience. And just from you know, my first impression, this is the first time I sat in the Aria, there is a lot of space. So let's go ahead and break down some of our individual elements going on. So I had to take a little quick water break. We've been filming quite a bit today, but let's talk about the materials that we have in the Aria. So up on the top dashboard, uh, this part is going to be hard touch. However, most of the dash is going to be made of a nice leatherette material. We do have some stitching details going through there. I like the bronze trim that goes through the vents and goes all the way across the entire uh, front of the vehicle. It even goes here to the left of the steering wheel. I really like the way that looks. Now, as far as other elements, you will notice that this whole area is completely open, so you can fit whatever you want. It kind of reminds me of the Hyundai Ionic 5 where you have this whole area. You can throw grocery bags, diaper bags, whatever uh, need you have. And then you have this center console right here um, that is, you know, of course, made to be comfortable. And then I'm also noticing <laughs> we have a nice little button here on the side to move it forward and back. So that that's pretty unique looking. Uh, unlike the Ionic 5 though, I will point this out, it's just the top that moves. The Ionic 5 moves the bottom as well. This part, it's just the top so you can adjust the armrest like that, which is pretty neat. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about the technology in the Aria. So we have two dual 12.3 inch displays going on and as you can see they are a part of one continuous piece which gives you a really nice look. So let's break down the gauges. Of course, it's a 12.3 fully uh, reconfigurable gauge cluster design. I like the way it looks. And in addition to that, you will notice up in the uh, glass here that we do have a head-up display. You probably won't be able to tell that via the camera though, but it is available on this Aria. Now coming down to the steering wheel design, I, I'm a big fan. It's the two piece design. So it just goes straight across. There's no bottom element and it does feel really good in the hand. It has a nice perforated leather design. We have our Nissan emblem right here as well as some piano black for your buttons. I'm also noticing we have rain sensing uh, wipers as well. And then as far as onto the side, we have you know just some buttons here for your hands-free driving as well as your charge port. We also have two person memory seating. And then let's look at the door trim. You will notice that we have this really cool element here. Um, I'm trying to tell, I think this is a speaker grill, but it is lit inside. So that's a really cool element. We also have a lot of door storage. Passenger, the power driver's seat is power adjusting. And then let's talk about some of this center console stuff. I know I already mentioned that it is adjustable. So there's buttons here on the side to adjust it. It does also have a nice wood trim, but things I'm noticing is that we have buttons inside of here. It's really hard to see, but there are buttons inside of the wood trim. So that is really quite neat. We can also open this up. That gives you two cup holders inside. Then you have this. This is your wireless phone charger as well as a little bit of additional storage. Not a ton though. Here's your shifter. It's a, of course an electronic style shifter, but I think this is a really neat looking design. It looks like you pull back for drive as well as forward for reverse. Then you have this entire storage cubby down here as well. You have another uh, lit component down here in the middle. And then coming up, here is one of the coolest elements about the Aria, and that's the fact that we have our climate controls integrated within the wood. So as you can see, we can just click. And these are actually physical buttons, so you just click into the wood to adjust the climate. Then you have all that stuff right there, and then you have a nice volume knob right here. Now, as far as this display, it's going to be 12.3 inches. Nothing too fancy going on here, but I do want to mention it has wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. Up top, we have an auto dimming mirror. And then in the very top, you will notice a panoramic sunroof for this model. All right, you might be curious as to how you can get the Aria, maybe how much it's gonna cost and when you can go get it at a dealership. I actually do have that information, which is pretty rare for an auto show car. So the pricing is gonna start a touch under $46,000 and then a fully loaded model is gonna be a touch under $59,000 and I do believe that is before the tax credit if Nissan still um, qualifies for that by the time this comes out you should also get the $7,500 tax credit which is something to factor in to that pricing component. Now as far as when you can get this at dealerships it is expected for fall 2022 um, so actually not that much longer you're gonna have to wait for the Aria. 
If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, we would really appreciate if you hit that button down below. It really helps us out. Also follow us on TikTok and Instagram, and we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.